Nebraska versus South Dakota. Nebraska's up 3 nothing, And center fielder Braden Dyer stepping to the plate. Little Brett Phillips lookalike. He's a good defensive center fielder. Oh, no. Takes that pitch right to the elbow on his right arm. Gets the inside of the elbow. I think it hits straight bone, like the funny bone, but not funny at all. He runs the first base, trying to gut it out right there. Oh, man. Ball's basically the size of his arm, so I can only imagine how that feels. I don't think it feels good. The coach says, why don't you give me a little squeeze? Let's do the grip test. He says, oh, man, you're strong as ever. I think it made you stronger. Joke, joke, joke. Laugh, laugh, laugh. Trying to make him feel good about it. On this pass ball, legs ain't broken. They get him to second base. He's in scoring position. That ball is put in play. He's going to get to third, and then they do the double steal, first and third. The other team's ready for it. They do the cutoff, but he's safe because he's speedy. He's the center fielder. Now, later in the game, he doesn't want to hit. His arm is hurting him. He says, Coach, but they were out of subs. I think once a sub comes in, he can't re-enter. Starters can re-enter. I have no idea the rules, but they said that they were out of subs. So the coach is like, all right, just stand in there. No, just like work a wall. I don't know what the coach said. But at one point, he's going to try and put his right hand on the bat here, and he whimis- grimaces and says, oh, coach, are you sure? Time, time, ump. And ump's like, no, we got to play. And he's like, oh, okay, all right. So he steps into the box. He's got one hand on the bat. He's going to take that pitch for a ball. I don't know. I mean, you know, congrats on the toughness and the grit, my dude. But any little kid watching this, I mean, you don't have to do this if you're actually hurt. Just say I'm hurt. They make him tie his shoe, and he doesn't want to because his arm hurts. So the coach comes and ties his shoe for him, and that's just stalling the at-bat that he's got to think about. So he steps back into the box. He's got one hand, you know, the old Mickey Mantle, hitting a home run, chokes up, pro move, and takes that pitch outside, 2-0. and now he's like, all right, let's just get a walk. Squats real low. Hum says, nah, I'm going to call that a strike. What? Coach, you called that a strike. I was on the ground. I thought I didn't have a strike zone. Very confused. Now he's going to try and lay down a 2-0 bunt. Almost puts it in play. And then the next pitch, the 2-1, almost a uh, perfect bunt. Right down the line, the pitcher makes a great play and throws him out. Look at the replay of this play by the pitcher. Gets to it first, grabs it wings it just in time to get him really nice play now we go to the top of the sixth inning and our dude Braden has moved from center field to left field because he's still a little beat up and that ball's put right into center field the new center fielder catches it that's the first out two more and they win and he turns and he looks at Braden in left field and he says Braden you could have caught that Yeah, I could have caught it, but I might not be able to throw it. Now the coach is going to come. They're one out away from winning. He's going to come out. He's going to give them a little pep talk. Hey, listen up. This is the most important thing I've had to say since we've been here. I don't say it enough, and I want you guys to hear it. Put the knife in my throat. What? I like your attitude, Benny. Oh. I I love you. I'll tell you enough. No matter what happens, breathe and be easy, bud. Yes, sir. I love you, and I wanted you guys to know that. Yes, sir. Finish. Cool. Finish. Finish. Here. Come on, let's go. Hey guys, stay out. Okay, one more strike and Nebraska wins it, but this ball's put into play in left field, and our dude Braden fields it, and he's gonna run it in because his arm still ain't feeling great. Shortstop takes it out of his glove, and the batter ends up on second base with a double. So finally, they go check on him. I'm like, okay, I guess this kid's actually hurt. Let's go listen to what he has to say. And they're checking the muscle and the tissue, and he says, no, 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 it's like my elbow bone. Then they touch it. There, oh yeah, that's where it hurts. That's what I've been trying to tell you guys this whole time oh yes that's where it hit me and it hurts oh yep you're touching it again coach so then they go okay maybe we should make a sub and now i don't get it because if you could have made a sub why didn't you make a sub way earlier in the game again congrats to our dude Braden for toughing it out and putting the bunt in play and all that but you don't have to play if you're hurt kids But now there's a runner on second. Doesn't matter. This one's put in play to third base. He gobbles it up, throws to first, and the team from Nebraska wins the Midwest region. Coach is excited, gives, I'm guessing that's his son, a big old hug. Then the kids run to the crowd to see their parents and say hi to them. So you got to like their chances, but. And it's making their way from Hastings, Nebraska. Got to love it.